I want to welcome you to our Maundy Thursday service. This is uh, a, a different way of doing Maundy Thursday, but I'm assuming that you are tuning in, uh, have looked up this service because you're in the middle of Holy Week. This might be on Maundy Thursday or sometime before Easter. And I'd like to just walk us through a little bit of the events around Maundy Thursday, and then we will share communion together. I'll walk you through the liturgy and then um, invite you to participate in communion there at home. So if you don't already have the elements gathered, you might want to pause this and go get them and have them set up. And then we'll walk through whether you take the elements by yourself or if you have somebody there with you that you will administer or share the elements to each other. So Maundy Thursday was the uh, service of communion uh, at the Last Supper. And Jesus is trying to communicate with his disciples what's about to happen. And so as a way of sharing what's about to take place, Jesus uses the basic elements of bread and wine uh, to talk about his body and blood uh, where his life will be sacrificed for you and me. There's a great line in the communion liturgy that says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And that proves God's love for us. Uh, because it's not something that we merit. It's not something we've done. We don't call attention to ourselves and say, look how good I am, therefore I deserve a reward, which is communion. It's quite the opposite. While we were yet sinners, not because we deserve God's love and grace, but because of who God is, that he shares this love uh, uh, with us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And so Jesus is walking the disciples through that. And it's, it's interesting over the years, the songs um, in our hymnal uh, that depict and the language in those hymns talk about how majestic, how marvelous, how undeserved uh, the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross for you and me for our sins is and how thankful we are and can be and should be. Uh, in our hymnal, there's a song called When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. And the last line of that hymn says, were the whole realm of nature mine. Uh, if I owned it, if that was mine, that were an offering far too small. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. What, what a great line. If, if I had everything to give God as a way of saying thanks, it still wouldn't be enough. Back a few pages on number 292. What wondrous love is this? And again, in the song, the writer says, what wondrous love is this? Oh, my soul, oh, my soul. What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of life to lay aside his crown for my soul? Uh, it, it's clear that the, the writers of these hymns uh, are enamored with the grace and the love of God. Uh, the old spiritual hymn, Were You There?, walks through the events of the Passion Week of Jesus' last week and, and asks the question, were you there? Were you there when this happened? Were you there when they nailed him to the cross? Were you there when they pierced him in his side? Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Were you there when they laid him in the grave? Another traditional hymn of the church, O sacred head now wounded. The last line begins, what language shall I borrow to thank thee, dearest friend? I, I, I love that line. Um, 
we don't have the words to say. We don't, we don't have a way of expressing our gratitude for all that, that God has done. And so that's part of what we do when we come together for communion. We recognize our need uh, of what only God can supply. Uh, we, we're thankful. We're humble. We recognize that uh, it's not our merit uh, that saves us, but it's God's grace and it's Jesus's act of obedience uh, on the cross uh, as he goes to die in our place. Charles Wesley penned the words to, and can it be, which is a, another great hymn of the church. And in that hymn, the chorus is amazing love. How can it be? that thou, my God, wouldst die for me. Amazing love, how can it be? So as we come together on this Maundy Thursday during Holy Week, as we anticipate Easter and the celebration and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, the church stops um, on this Maundy Thursday to recognize that before we can celebrate Easter, Jesus says goodbye in a way to the disciples and then begins the journey through the trial and through the crucifixion to the cross. Um, and it's a painful time to remember the cost of sin and the cost of our disobedience and distrust of God. And so I invite you now to, uh, to have the elements, maybe to go ahead and uncover them, and then we'll walk through the liturgy that has been part of the church history for generations. The invitation says this, Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news that Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. And that proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The communion table in the Methodist Church is open to any and all who would come forward and pray this prayer uh, and repent, earnestly repent of their sins. You don't have to be a member of the church. You don't know, have to know the special handshake or the secret code. The Great Thanksgiving outlines the night uh, that Jesus shared these elements with the disciples. And as we Remember that those words, um, you might take the elements uh, in however you've prepared them and arrange them. Holy are you and blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, O God. You delivered us from slavery to sin and death and made with us a new covenant by water and the spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, Jesus took the bread, gave thanks to you. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat, for this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. 
And when the supper was over, he took the cup. He gave it to his disciples and gave thanks to you and said, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. God, pour out your blessing on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. I invite you now to take the bread, and depending on how you have set it up, you can take it and eat it, or you can dip it in the cup. But this is the body of Christ given for you. And this is the blood of Christ, which is shed for you. I invite you to partake of the communion elements at this time and or share them with the people you are gathered with. Let us pray. God, I thank you for the opportunity that we have to participate and to remember uh, Jesus' words and this uh, symbol of love and grace. We ask you, God, uh, to guide us. We repent of our sin and thank you for loving and caring enough for us to provide a way for us to have access to you. We give you thanks for this day. Amen. I invite you now to go forth in peace, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. God bless you.